guys welcome back to my channel so this is like me revealing from my past video <laughs> i can't do this i have to call you back sorry <laughs> i can't do it <laughs> i'm talking to my friend on facetime but i'm sorry this is a continuation of my last video um showing how i style my hair on this heat damage journey get yeah, that one i'm like literally covered my hair in oil and i have not taken my hair out since that Wednesday. <laughs> I've been at home because it's been snowing in the UK. So let's see what we're dealing with. Wow. He's got real messy though, can't lie. It's Saturday today now. Wow, I've been at home since Wednesday. It's quite depressing. I've been wearing that bonnet for ages and that's from my friend's shop actually and I think it's really cool and quirky. She has so many different designs and this is the one I picked. No, it's not sponsored, I bought it. So shout out to her, hashtag support black businesses if you want to find out how to get one she does ship to the uk i'm not sure if she ships elsewhere just taking my hair down the first day hair is always like a little bit more flat than anything which is fine because then like over time it gets bigger and bigger my hair's looking really short actually it's look, looking really shrunken but we can always stretch it out a bit which is always a plus so right now as you can tell like the results like the curls are popping, you know? Because with heat damaged hair, you can always style it however you want it. It's not, it's never really been an issue for me, like styling my hair, it's just trying to wear it natural. So obviously during this journey, I'm just gonna like be doing different styles, trying to figure out what my hair likes the most. But so far, this is my hair taking out the braid and the bantu knot on one side. And it's, still, it's a little bit popping. And I've covered my hair in olive oil, by the way. So this is not a tutorial, this is just like a hair vlog. So let me just chill. Let me just cross my legs and chill. So, and I'll also show you what it looks like tomorrow and like throughout the days, just so that like you can see what my hair looks like post a few days of doing the style. And I'll show you how long it lasts and what I do when it just gets too frizzy and out of control. It's still a little bit damp, like in the very center. And I find that because obviously I've done like quite big braids, it's not gonna dry all the way through because my hair is quite thick. So that's normal, but obviously over time it will dry. And if I was going, and if I'm like on route somewhere, I would just sit in my car on my way there and blast my heat and it will be dry by the time I arrive. So this is my hair. <laughs> I look so weird. And there's gonna be a massive <laughs> line of demarcation at the back, if you can tell. So that's my hair. I'm just gonna put more olive oil. I always like soak my hair in oil just to make sure that it doesn't get dry. Oh, this came out quite nice, I guess, because I left it in for a few days. But normally it's not this defined. So y'all, it's come through for the YouTube vid. How about that? Thank you, hair. Thank you for cooperating with me. I really appreciate you. So this is my hair. And what I would do to like get to like separate it a little bit. I don't want to do it too much because if I do it too much then it will just be like um, super frizzy too quickly. So I'm just going to try and separate it. I think actually cutting my hair has made a difference to the way it's looking at the moment. It doesn't normally look like this. So I'm just like separating my hair, like trying not to disturb the curls too much. Separate it. It looks really short though, can't I? I think I've got a lot of shrinkage because I I find that when I put conditioner on in the shower and I braid it up, I get a hell of a lot of shrinkage rather than if I come out the shower and then put conditioner in, I don't get as much shrinkage, which is a bit weird. don't really know why, but that's just how my hair is. So I'm just going to like fluff my hair, then I'm going to be back and I'll show you what it looks like first day hair because I could sit here all day and fluff it and you guys would probably be bored, so yeah. So this is what my hair looks like. It's kind of really short, but I quite like it because I think it's quite cute. My hair's not, because obviously my hair's been like quite long for a long time. I don't really get to like wear like shortish hair. I guess I cut like a little bit off, but there is a hell of a lot, hell of a lot of shrinkage, as you can tell, but it's fine. And that is it at the moment. So yeah, I'm really digging it. And I will show you what it looks like in a few days, or tomorrow, and then other days, and then I'll just let you guys know what my hair looks like. If you haven't already seen the first hair vlog, then go ahead and watch it before you see this. Otherwise, this, this will make no sense. So go ahead and watch that, and come back right here to watch how I get this and what I do 
stuff, you know, make it look a little bit popping. Sorry if you can hear my mom. If you hear Yoruba in the background, my mom's talking, so yeah. Oh, I really like my hair. No, I think it's so, I look like, I'm looking like a Janet Jackson, honey. Hey, hello, husband, where you? I'm just like, I'm looking kind of cute, okay. I'm looking kind of cute. Somebody, somebody better snatch me, okay? Cause I won't be single for long, honey. Cause girl, y'all. Yes. <laughs> you know that like Rojas of Atlanta, like <sighs> Anyway, I'm not bore you too much. The next clip will be tomorrow. This looks like it's my real hair texture, doesn't it? Like. I can I could fool somebody today. I could fool somebody. Anyway, <laughs> bye. Hi guys, so this is the morning after. So this is day two here and I'm on my way to church. So I'm just gonna show you what my hair looks like. And this is how I slapped. So this is my hair. And I'm just gonna take some more like olive oil and put it on my hands and just like do you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna put some olive oil on my hands. I feel like this is even a cute look, even all in itself. Ooh, well I'll show you what it looks like down. Just fluff it out. I could stretch it out, but I don't want to. I want to keep it this length. I think it's kind of cute. I'll fluff it and I'll just be back because this might take a while. So these are my results. Hopefully there's not that line of demarcation. And I think cutting my hair, like, has given it, has given, really girl? I think cutting my hair has actually made a difference to how it's falling. So like, it's not like super like long hair. It's like actually like, you know. So yeah, this is my hair. This is day two hair. And I will update you guys on how it looks here on after. Okay, so it's bright and early with the help of my ring light because it's England on Sunday morning. I'm not sure how I want to do it today. Sorry for my face. My face is really puffy in the morning. <laughs> but I've had my shower and everything and put on some eyebrows and I'm ready to go. But, um, I'm thinking to keep my hair like this. Although I'm thinking I'm going to just maybe have a ponytail. Let me lay down some edges, but I probably won't be able to show you, show you the finished result of that because my me laying down my edges for work means me walking onto the train with a headscarf on because I'm time conscious. So yeah, this is what my hair looks like. Take it down actually. So I just slept in one of these. And this is my horror. Day, I can't remember. Sorry, it's so early and I'm late. I'll show you what my hair looks like in a bit. So this is my hair. So it's like getting bigger as the day goes by and it's stretching out quite a bit. Like without me actually doing anything. Wednesday is a really just long for me because I go to church on Tuesdays and I'm tired. But this is my hair. So I'm gonna lay down my edges. I'm gonna wear a ponytail. Because at this point I'm tired and I don't want my hair on my face. I don't look at my face, nothing. Literally no so when I don't have eyebrows or well, not shaped on, I look like this. And I look about five years old. But I'm in full time employment. I left uni about two years ago. So I'm very much grown, quote unquote, well, adulting. It's too early in the morning for this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna wrap this around my edges. That I may go on the train and look really interesting. This is what I do, I normally, but well, I'm gonna lay my edges and will wear my headscarf. What the hell? I will wear my headscarf on the train all the way to work. So I'm gonna go in looking like a gypsy. But I'm cute though. So I don't even know what day this is, but I put all of all of my hair last night also. This is what it's looking like. I probably could have worn it down, but I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> 
So this is what it looks like to do a whole day of commercial banking and come home. <laughs> so my hair's a bit messy, but I found to show you guys what it's looking like on day whatever. I could have done a much better job in like laying my edges and everything, but I was rushing this morning and you know, work-life balance doesn't really exist. This is what you get for a girl on the go, waking up at stupid o'clock, coming back at stupid o'clock, but 